Okay, I'd like to complain about the previous speaker who has done a large part of what I'm going to say. <laughs> so, uh, so this is supposed to be random, but I feel I've been stitched up. So um, when I said I'd do a speech, I thought actually the mo thing I can most talk about at the moment is actually the fact that I've only been a head teacher since September. And obviously I really wanted to do it. And it was my dream from day one of teaching, and it took me 15 years. I said I'd do it by the time I was 40, and I managed it with two months to spare. So, good ass, yeah, I, I prefer that one. So, I thought I would talk about 10 things that I thought were really important for those of you who still aspire to be ahead on the grounds that I've kind of done the successful into fairly recently. So, my first one is you have to really want it. If you don't think you're ready to do it, and you don't think you want it, then don't bother because you're not. Okay, because you have to really want it. Doesn't matter what job you're currently doing, you might think you're good at your deputy job, assistant job, but if you don't really want to be the person at the top, then actually you're probably not ready for it. You need to do another year, another two years, and then be ready for it, and you will know. I think it's a bit like when you know you're ready to get married or you're ready to have children. It will never actually happen, you can't plan it. So you have to really want it. I think that's the first thing I would say. Secondly, seek the comments of everyone. Ask the people who you line manage who drive you up the wall how good you are. Because when you are the head and you have to have someone line managing them and those people are going to make your life difficult and you need to motivate them and it isn't somebody else in that office, you need to know what they think. You might think you're really good at the things that you do. People might give you good feedback. But are you asking the right people? Because when you're the head, you can't just hide. You can't just palm that department off on someone else which maybe you can do when it isn't you. So you need to ask everyone's advice. Ask the difficult children. Ask the challenging parents. Are you actually really good at doing things? And be ready to have the arrows. Okay, third one. Ensure your experience is wide. You might be brilliant on your SLT at the things that you've done, but have you ever actually done the stuff to do with child protection? Have you ever done the stuff to do with finance? Have you ever done the stuff that the other bits of the SLT are brilliant at doing? Because if you haven't, once you're the head, you're going to have to do it. And I know you can get other people to do it a bit, but you need to have wide experience. So, as you're getting ready to do it, volunteer for the jobs that you least like. Okay, decide what your school will look like. My picture of that is related to grand designs. I feel that you need to feel you're like the person with your grand design. You know exactly what your plan is, but that person's going to come in and he's going to pick it apart the entire time. Your governors, your parents, your children, your teachers are going to pull your vision to pieces every single day but you need to stick with it. You have to know what you want your school to look like, which means that you are ready. When you go for your interview, have a vision ready to communicate. Don't be the person who goes to the interview and isn't ready to do it. Why? No, I don't have to have extra time. No, I know. I know. Challenge him. Right, OK. Please tell everyone in your local authority you're looking for a job, because if you don't, you might miss out on it. I got my job, I think, partly because I told everyone in the local authority I wanted it, and they told me when the jobs were coming up. I know that's a bit inside knowledge, but I think it's important. Um, don't apply for every single job that comes up, especially within one local authority, because local authority advisors talk to head teachers and chair of governors, and you start to get a reputation as somebody who just wants the job, who doesn't want a specific school. People get found out. Okay, next one, research everything possible. The stuff that is in the back page of the paper of the local school might be the thing that gets you the job. And if you've spent time researching, that might make the difference. I knew nothing about Brentwood before I applied for the job. I spent months reading everything in advance. Number nine, have some plans ready to go. I think the government at the moment call it shovel-ready stuff, where they say they can spend money straight away and do it. Have something you can tell the governors that you will do straight away. It doesn't have to be massive. It could be small. Have something ready so you look like you know what you're doing. And my last one is believe in yourself. Be honest, be humble, be powerful. You want to be in charge. You want to be the head. You have to have a bit of arrogance about you. You have to believe in yourself. Don't be the person who sounds really good but actually goes to pieces. Be honest, be humble, be powerful. You want to make a difference. I apologise for going over. Oh,